Good morning, Chris. Morning, Sorry for Tom. the pause there. I'm still uh, still learning the ropes. Um, Chris, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Yeah, I'm Chris Moran. I own JCM Business Solutions, which is a consultancy company. Um, really, I describe it as a, a cooperative of, of people working together that we've built up over the last ten years. Great, great. And the next question is quite nicely: is how did you end up uh, starting up JCM ten years ago? And no. Ten years ago, yeah, it was actually ten years ago on the thirty first of March. I gave my notice oh. in to my last company. I was European sales director, and I'd, I'd had enough to be honest. I'd, I'd done it for so long; I was a bit tired of it all. And I thought it'd be quite nice to work a couple of days a week as a consultant. Oh. And uh, we, the first job we got was with Stockport Council, uh, doing a change management program. Right. And we got a job over in Israel for a big company looking at their systems. And then it sort of we developed what JCM was as a result of those two big jobs, really. Great. Uh, and then a couple of years into it, decided we actually needed something to sell. It's very difficult to sell management <laughs> consultancy. Yeah. Um, no, nobody, including me, really knows what it is. Um, so we became partners with Zoho. And the last eight years, we've built ourselves into one of their largest partners globally. So Brilliant. Uh, Brilliant. Actually, quite a good idea that I had. <laughs> <laughs> It's great. Now, as you know, in the business network, we like to ask something personal about our members. So the next bit is is it's all about you. So uh, hopefully we've got <laughs> hopefully we've got time for this. <laughs> have you have you got any hobbies or passions, Chris? Oh, one or, one or two, Simon. Yes. yes. My my big passion is mountain climbing. Hmm. Um, I started when I was nine or ten. Uh, and I was taking hill walking in, in the Peak District. I went up Kinder Scout, uh, which is still a favourite mountain of mine. But uh, a friend of mine, uh, who we both know, John Marmion, um, mm -hmm. introduced me to a climbing club in the Lake District called the Kilirati, which is the oldest climbing club in, in the UK, I think. Uh, so I was 10 at the time, and the people who were in the club at the time were the Himalayan climbers who went with Chris Bonington on wow. the first ascents in the Himalayas. So I learned my craft with the guys who were going to the Himalayas. I'm still a member of the Kilirati. Um, I haven't been for ages, but I'm still a member of it. And yeah. I spend probably the vast majority of my spare time uh, aside from grandkids and children and what have you, yeah. actually in yeah. Wales, uh, climbing. In fact, I got, I got an email from some friends who own a cottage that we go to in Wales this morning uh, with pictures of the hills and, and them out on the hills doing the lambing this morning. <laughs> just what you wanted to say, yeah. Just what I wanted to Well, it was lovely, lovely pictures. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But no, mountaineering, I'm absolutely, um, it is, is, is why I work, is, is why the company was started, yeah. is what it's about. And you'll see on the wall behind me, there's maps, uh, the the room I'm in is covered in charts and maps right. and uh, and and uh, stuff about Wales and about the Lake District. There's a whole bookcase over there that's got every single map you could possibly want about Wales and the right. Lake District. Right. In it. <laughs> great, great. And um, podcasts. Do you listen to any podcasts? I any do. I, yeah, to keep fit. Um, I do. I do. As people know, I do cycling. Um, I, although I haven't done any for a while. And I have the bike on a turbo trainer in the cellar. And the podcast I listen to while I'm trundling along on the turbo trainer is, um, oh, it's the, it's the um, Brian Cox one, The Infinite Money Cage. Oh, yes. Infinite yes. Monkey Cage. Yeah. Uh, which is on BBC, which is fascinating. I've learned all about astronauts. I've learned about uh, the time-space continuum. I couldn't explain any of this to you. <laughs> Uh, but it is fascinating to listen to. It's something so far different to what, what we normally talk about, um, oh. that it, it's really interesting stuff. And there's, there's probably about 40 or 50 of them to listen to now. Yeah, that's great, because that, that has been recommended as well by somebody else. I can't remember mm. who, but uh, that one's been no, one I've got to listen to. Right, reading. Do you do much reading? Is there a book I, you'd like to recommend? I do. There, there is one I'd recommend, uh, particularly for these times. Um, I picked it up years ago. And, and took it on holiday with me and I got berated by my, my wife for taking a business book on holiday. And it was Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Successful People, right. uh, which is one that's often referred to in, in, in seminars that, that we go to. 
Um, and it's not just a book about business. It's a book about how you approach life and about how you approach issues in your life. In fact, he, he starts the book referring to some issues he had with his children and, and, and working through those with, with his kids. And it, it, the principles that he aspires in there, it, the book's probably 25 years old, I would think now, 20, 25 years old, are still relevant today. And the, the, the basis on which we built the ethics that we try to live up to within the business. Um, and I think that's, if nobody's read it, get a, get a hold of a copy. Yeah, uh, right. Because it, it is one of a very readable business book. Great, great. And the final thing is, uh, words of wisdom. Obviously, we're all locked in, uh, not together, but we're very, we're, we're being very... Not <laughs> Now that would be a mad big brother house, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, any words of wisdom to us out, out here? It's, it's difficult because we're, we're, we're all trying to make the best of, a, of what is essentially a bad job. But there's a, a really good line that's quoted from actually from Stephen Covey. And it's called, start with the end in mind. Oh. So it's very, very easy to get down in this type of environment. Yeah. And it's very easy not to be able to see your way out of it. But if you can think about where you want your business to be in six months time what's the minimum viable that, that sustainable uh, say in six months time start with the yeah. end in mind and work out how you're going to get there what do you need to do to get there and that will take a lot of pressure and a lot of panic out of people's lives if we can do that yeah. um, because we can always rebuild we can always yeah. rebuild you know in 10 yeah. years jcm's started in the middle of the finance crisis um, it survived like everybody else four or five years of Brexit, and just as I thought everything was going in the right direction, this has happened. Yeah. But we'll go back to the principle, and we'll say, start with the end in mind. How do we get there? Yeah. No, that, that sounds great. And you're the only Liverpool fan who hasn't slipped in a, a Liverpool uh, uh, little mention somewhere on the line. So. Nah, not today, mate. <laughs> not today. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gobsmacked they furloughed the non-playing staff, which is. Uh, <laughs> Tarnished right. it a little bit for me, I have to say. Right. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. It's been great. All right, Simon. Lovely okay. to speak to you, mate. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Nice tie, by the way. Uh, thank you. <laughs>